Hi everyone, my name is Z and welcome to the tutorial series by securemywifi.org. In this video lecture, we'll be looking at understanding the basics about the service set identifier and how to hide it. Now, SSID or a service set identifier in a simple term means a public name for your wireless device. So suppose if this is my Wi-Fi and I name this Wi-Fi as CW. Now typically this CW acts as a SSID for my Wi-Fi device. Now let's look into the windows and see what are the various types of SSIDs which are available in my nearby vicinity. So I search for various wireless device. Here we can see I can find around 5 Wi-Fi devices. The first one is Cisco W, then we have B Kapoor, Whiskey and Hidden Network. Now here these four are basically the access points which are available and the names like Cisco W or SD which are associated with that access point is called a SSID. So this Cisco W is a SSID for my Cisco wireless device. And well, it shows I'm using a WEP encryption. Generally, I don't use web. It's just because I'm planning to teach wireless pen testing to some of my friends. In my real world router, I do use WPA2 with proper MAC filtering, etc. Anyways, let's come back to the topic. So now we know basically what a SSID means. Now SSID can contain up to 30 two characters and that characters can be alphanumeric or even symbol and spaces. Now you must be wondering how can your computer or your laptop know that these are the wireless devices available in the vicinity or in your area. This is because when your access point or your Wi-Fi is turned on, it typically sends frames called as beacon frames all over the area right so here if I have a mobile device associated with it and if I start scanning for Wi-Fi what your device will do it will typically catch one of the beacon frames and it will extract the information from the beacon frames and then it will present you a nice list saying the name of the Wi-Fi device available and what are the encryption type which has been used. So going back to the Windows environment again, the reason why am I able to see this list is because my laptop is able to capture this beacon frames with which a Wi-Fi is broadcasting all over the vicinity. Now we'll be looking into the beacon frames in detail but before that let's understand the various modes of SSID. Now basically there are two modes which are available in a wireless device related to SSID. The very first one is the broadcast mode and we have seen the broadcast mode in the below example where when you turn on your wireless device it typically sends a broadcast frame all over the area announcing its presence. This broadcast frame is typically called as a beacon frame and it contains information related to the SSID parameters, the encryption types and the data rates which have been supported by the access points. The very second type of mode which is available related to SSID in a wireless point is a hidden mode. So what typically happens in a hidden mode is instead of sending broadcast frames all over the area announcing its presence in hidden mode it will not send broadcast frames at all. So typically here whenever I connect my access point it won't send any broadcast frames. So the question is how can I know 
the presence of the router well typically you need to know pre hand the name of the ssid of your wireless router in order to connect it so if your router is running in hidden mode and you search for the wireless device from your mobile you won't find the name of your router you have to manually type in the name of your wifi device so now we have already seen the basic two methods of ssid modes in the wireless device so now let's go into our wireless router setting page through our browser and see on how we can enable and disable the wireless broadcasting from our access point so i'll go to internet explorer oh us india me to get ties back on track well i guess india did give a tough response to the us tactics this time right obviously the relations were hampered due to the way us treated our diplomat anyways so this is the setup page now we'll go to the wireless tab and see what are the options available so one of the last options you can see over here is a ssid broadcast and here we have enabled or disabled enabled basically means that your wireless router is actively sending the beacon frames or broadcast frames all over the area if it is disabled it won't send any beacon or broadcast frames so the reason why we are able to see various access point over here is because they are actively sending the broadcast frames over the area if the ssid broadcast was disabled we would not be able to see the network over here but simply by considering that your ssid broadcast is disabled and no one will be able to find out your ssid or your access point in your area then i guess you might want to have a second thought for that because it is very easily possible to find the access point even though your ssid broadcast is disabled so considering that your wireless is secure just because you are not broadcasting your ssid is similar to this case right <laughs> uh well so i hope you know wireless can be secured if it's turned off right to the best case that is what i prefer so if you are not using your wifi turn it off use the lan connection as much as possible so with this we would conclude the theoretical session now and we will go to our wireshark capture and analyze the beacon frame in detail <clears throat> so let's minimize this and let's go to a wireless capture right so here the very first packet frame that we can see is a beacon frame so the protocol is 802.11 which is used in wireless and the destination is broadcast as we know beacon frame is also called as a broadcast frame so let's analyze this in bit detail i'll open the fixed parameters and here the very first thing you can see is the first bit is set so this indicates that the transmitter is a access point which is basically my wifi the fourth option where you can see the one bit is set is the privacy it is because my wireless access point is using encryption of some kind to transfer the data let's go to the tag parameters and here you can see let's maximize the tag parameter and here you can see the ssid is linksys so linksys is basically the name of the access point and tag length indicates how many characters are there in the access point so if you see l i n k s y s the total 
sums up to 7 so this packet is what your mobile or your laptop captures in, and it extracts the information related to the SSID field the various supported rates so in this packet capture you have <coughs> 1 to 54 MB per second so this is generally 802.11 G network so <coughs> I guess we won't be going into too much detail related to the frame settings so we have seen how does the laptop or your mobile basically extracts the information so it will extract the SSID information from here and it will paste over to this field here instead of Cisco W it will paste Linksys if this frame is of Linksys router anyways so we will conclude this session for today I hope you got the basic understanding of SSID and how to hide it also I hope you got that just by simply hiding it does not add to a layered protection to your overall Wi-Fi security so with this we'll conclude the session thank you very much for watching